Hi, happy United Nations Day. Every year on October 24th, the United Nations Day is celebrated all over the world to commemorate the anniversary of the formal creation of the United Nations through the 1945 Charter of United Nations. The significance of United Nations Day is to celebrate diversity. It is an official day to appreciate the diversity of cultures, religions, and languages around the world. It is a day when nations come together to spread peace and harmony among people from various backgrounds. Every year, we celebrate its anniversary as a reminder of the importance of peace, respect for justice and international law, human rights and the fundamental freedoms, among others. Today, we will discuss the case that happened in Taiwan that violates the spirit of the United Nations Day. First, let us watch a video which will tell you the story. Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy and the Action Alliance to Redress 1219 have sought justice from Taiwan's government through live protests and virtual forums. Stop violating Tai Chi Minh human rights! So the Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy case started in 1996 and it was persecution on spiritual groups and Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy was caught in the crossfire of all of that. Despite the Supreme Court of Taiwan's rulings that we're innocent and tax-free, a few rogue bureaucrats continue to send us tax bills, and even just last year in 2020, our land was illegally auctioned off. The Taijiman case has also garnered support from scholars around the world. And in Taiwan, the long-running attack against the Taijiman community by bureaucratic despots within the tax administration have led many religious freedom experts around the world to condemn this form of administrative religious persecution. The abuse of the National Tax Bureau has lasted for almost a quarter of a century. I call upon the Taiwan government to honor the law, the sentences passed by its judges, and the moral responsibility it has to watch over and protect all its citizens equally, as determined by its own mandate. A breakthrough in the case occurred when the principal witness, on whom the prosecutor based his tax evasion accusation against Taiji Men, told a journalist that the prosecutor oversaw the case and that the witness testimony was merely a formality. <laughs> The witness revealed that illegal tax bills were issued to Taiji Men at the request of the Investigation Bureau's city field office. Shi Ye Sheng accepted this interview when seriously ill and revealed that he was pressured to do what the prosecution told him to do. Although he has since passed away, Taiji Min is hopeful that his testimony will provide the evidence needed to obtain justice. It proves that what happened was not a mistake. There was no mistake. It was a deliberate framing of Taiji Men for obscure motivations through false documents, false accusations, and a false tax investigation that never happened. Now, if this is not enough to reopen the Taiji Men case and uh, cancel the 1992 tax bill, give back to Taiji Men their sacred land, I don't know what more is needed. It's a general principle of the law all over the world that when new elements emerge, even uh, final decisions can and should be revived. Revision is a fundamental principle of justice. So far this year, the Action Alliance to Redress 1219 has presented messages to representatives from TECRO, the Taiwan Economic and Cultural Representative Office in San Francisco and Washington, D.C. We are Tai Chi Men members in the United States. We conveyed our message to Taiwan's representative Lai 
in San Francisco. We have just conveyed our message to Taiwan's representative Xiao in the D.C. So far, there has been no response, but the Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy and the Action Alliance to Redress 1219 continue their activism in person and online, where scholars continue to voice their support for the cause. The government of Taiwan should do the right thing and eliminate the tax from 1992, which is just absurd considering what has happened for 1991 and the other years, and to restore the property that was unlawfully seized. The difference with Taiji men is that they fight. And perhaps it's not too much to say that they're fighting to preserve Taiwan as a democratic country that follows its own laws and stifles corruption in bureaucracy. Justice for Taiji men for human rights! Taiwan claims to be a democratic country, but it is a pity that this case happened in Taiwan. Now, let's welcome Jennifer from Michigan. What's her thoughts on the Tai Chi Minh case and her wishes for the United Nations Day? Let's welcome Jennifer. Hello. It's my pleasure to be here with you today to celebrate the 75th anniversary of United Nations Day. It was on this day in 1945, the majority senatories that led to this establishment of the United Nations. Collective commitment for the future we want. The first document to set out the fundamental human rights that must be universally protected, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was proclaimed by the United Nations General Assemblies in the years 1948. Now, Let's look at what we have achieved or what need to be done. I'm in the members of the Federals of the World Peace and Love, FOPAL, which was established in the year 2000 by Dr. Hong Daozi. Members of UNESCO, Dr. Hong also is the founder of Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academies in Taiwan 55 years ago. He led his disciples to actively spread the ideas of love and peace and promote world peace through various means such as cultural exchange, ceremonies of ringing the bells of world peace and love. Four power members come from 137 countries, presently 399 per month figures from 122 countries have rung the bell make your wishes for love and peace, and pledge to work for the world's substantial futures. Under the guideline of Dr. Han, tens of thousands of volunteers from all walks of life across the globe has dedicated themselves to this great mission. I've been practicing Tai Chi Minh Qigong for 24 years. My health has improved I used to have cold sweat. It often happens while I was at work. I didn't know there was a treatment, but about one month after I practiced at Tai Chi Minh Qigong, the cold sweat just went away. It hardly bothered me again. I remember the first time I walked into the academy in Taipei. It was a music event on the evening. For reasons, I cannot put into words. I never go with music, but those songs touch me like never before. Right here in this place, someone understood me. And here is a family. Everywhere in this academy and everyone I see joys and happiness in their heart. In the past 24 years, Dr. Han taught us yin and yang philosophies and traditional Chinese culture. He keep reminds us to make our lives meaningful. Dr. Han also create many opportunities for us to practice his teaching so we can embed it in our daily life. As a minority and the only person from Taiwanese community I live, 
that the Holy Teaching is essential in my daily life. That the Holy reminds us to meditate every day. And that I had to try to do it to find my centers and balance in my life. But back in home country in Taiwan, Tai Chi Man has been under prolonged 24 years of bitter winters. A false case initiated by Ho Kuan Ren prosecutor and the field office. It is a false case, but they carry it out without investigation that violate human rights. And it should not happen in a free democratic government. Then after the judicial court verdict, no fault, no taxation, innocent. The National Tax Bureau disregard the judicial decision and illegally auction up Tai Chi Man's sacred land. This is not healthy for our future. This, as authorities, sabotage our constitutional country. I hope the President of Taiwan will immediately address this issue and redress the case. Or it will be condemned by international human rights influential. At the United Nations, where all the world's nations can gather together, discuss common problems, and find shared solutions that manifest all humanity. During the pandemic, even Taiwan is one of the countries that responds best to COVID-19. But Taiwan is now part of World Health Assembly, WHA. The Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, said in a statement in May 7th, Taiwan is a reliable partner, a vibrant democracy, and a force for good in the world. And its exclusion from the WHA would be detrimental to our collective international effort to get the pandemic under control. The world view of Taiwan as a democratic and free country. But a false Taijiman case that has been delayed for 24 years, it had made damage to Taiwan's reputation as a truly democratic country. On this United Nations Day, I urge the Taiwan government, especially the president, immediately take action to redress the Tai Chi Man case, to reform the diplomatic taxation system, and to restore the human rights to her people. Hope we will be able to see the spring coming soon. Let's able to regain our faith in the government and give Taiwan the opportunity to participate in some global organizations. Let the world see Taiwan just as a four pals shared with them. It's love, is peace, and there's human rights in the country. My name is Jiao St. Charles. I live in Michigan, United States, and this is my wish for the United Nations Day. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer's sharing. Raise the label of human rights in our country. Promote human rights development. Reintegrate into the international human rights system. Expand international cooperation in human rights assistance. And improve our international human rights status. We should follow the trend of human rights development in the world and fully implement the two international conventions on human rights. Therefore, on March 31st, 2009, Taiwan's legislative yen passed the two international conventions. And on May 14th of the same year, the president ratified the two conventions. And on December 10th, 2009, the implementation act of the two conventions officially took effect. 
However, the Tai Chi Man case has also violated these two conventions. Vivian from Washington, D.C. will talk about this. Let us welcome Vivian. Hello, everyone. I'm Vivian Zhang. I'm honored to join you for this meaningful forum on United Nations Day. Now that the world is experiencing a catastrophe due to the COVID-19 pandemic, I'm more aware of the importance of the establishment of the United Nations and its meaning and purpose. The United Nations is composed of sovereign states to maintain international peace and security, to develop friendly relations among nations based on respect for the principle of equal rights and self-determination of peoples, and to achieve international cooperation in solving international problems of an economic, social, cultural, or humanitarian character and in promoting and encouraging respect for human rights and for fundamental freedoms for all without distinction to race, sex, language, or religion. The United Nations also maintains a close consultative relationship with individual international non-governmental organizations. I'm a Tai Chi Man Dizi and a volunteer for the Action Alliance to Redress 1219. To study abroad, I came to the US alone. I have been here for 25 years. I currently live in the Washington DC area, but my family, relatives, and friends all live in Taiwan. Taiwan currently is not a member of the United Nations and Taiwan's international diplomacy is being affected by a current international situation and has not been very smooth. In addition, there are still ongoing human rights persecution cases in Taiwan, the fabricated case against Tai Chi Men. My mother, brother, sister, and niece are all in Tai Chi Men Dizi. I'm worried about the safety of my family in Taiwan as they are protest, protesting on the street, protest as they are protest on the street and petitioning their case in Taiwan. The Tai Chi Man fabricated case is like legal tax February 28th incident. Many experts and scholars, both domestic and foreign, believe that this case violates the international covenants on human rights and the constitution in a number of ways. At a forum held at the National Taiwan University on July 13, 2020, Loyal Li, an observer of the Human Rights Committee of the United Nations NGO World Citizens, pointed out that the Taiwanese government has violated the principle of equality and non-discrimination. The two covenants clearly state that freedom and equality are the most important core value of human rights. Since the establishment of the Tai Chi Man Qigong Academy in 1966, Prosecutors have illegally prosecuted Tai Chi Men due to the religion, religious crackdowns. For six years, 1991 to 1996, it was taxed for tuition as a cram school by the National Taxation Bureau, Taiwan's martial arts manpai, similar to school, and tens of thousands of religious group have never been taxed for accepting gifts of respect from their deeds. Gifts of respect to teachers are a traditional custom in the martial arts and the religious world. The, gift of, the gifts of respect from Tai Chi Man deeds to their shifu were deemed to be taxable as tuition fees, which is clearly by latest Article 2 and 26 of the International C 
covenants on civil and political rights, ICCPR. Article two of the International Covenants on Economic, Social, Cultural Rights and the Constitution, Article seven. Attorney Lee also pointed out that the government violated the freedom of thought, belief, and religion. The Ministry of Education clearly, clearly stated three times that Tai Chi Minh is not a cram school. The third instance of the criminal court also ruled that Di Zi's respect to Shi Fu were gifts. And the National Taxation Bureau even admitted that Tai Chi Minh is not a cram school, so where should be, so there should be no taxation problem with Tai Chi Minh. The Tai Chi Minh incident was born out of the change of political parties in Taiwan and the religious crackdowns, which suppressed the freedom of belief and the religion of Shi Fu and Di by taxation. According to Article 18, number 22 of the International Covenants on Civil and Political Rights, ICCPR, and Article 13 of the Constitution, it is emphasized that the individual's internal thoughts, belief, and religion are areas where freedom is absolutely necessary and cannot be restricted or infringed upon by the states. At the form tax reform proposal for effective rights relief held on April 1st, 2021, accountant Li Xuan also cited the Tai Chi Minh fabricated case as an example. In 2002, the control Yuan pointed out the prosecutor Ho Kuan Ren had committed eight major violations of the law when investigating the Tai Chi Minh case. That was referred to the Ministry of Justice for serious investi investigation and punishment. However, because he was under the protection of the Ministry of Justice and the high person prosecutor's office. The control Yuan did not insist on prosecuting and punishing prosecutor Ho Kuan Ren. According to the law, this is serious violation of the two covenants and the constitution. Effective remedies under the international com com covenants on human rights are required in general committee number 31 of the ICCPR and article 24 of the constitution, which both require that victims be compensated, that the government publicly apologize and that perpetrators be punished and brought to justice. Otherwise the government will not will be in violation of the international governments, which means that the victimization incident has not been investigated and that the persecution will happen again and again. All of this show that the Tai Chi Minh fabricated case, which is a major human rights indicator case, is a violation of the international covenants and uh, the spirit of the rule of law. Today is the United Nations Day and I have a deeper understanding of the purpose of the United Nations. We hope that the international community will call on the president of Taiwan to listen to the voice of the people in front of the president hall to implement the international covenants on human rights and to revoke the illegal taxation to Tai Chi Minh as soon as possible, return to the sacred land of Tai Chi Minh to its practice. 
Taiwanese government officials and the executive branch general lack of the concept of human rights. I hope that the Taiwanese government will enhance human rights education, straighten the international human rights perspective and protected human rights in order not to continue to harm the country, hurt people and waste just countless national public funds, administrative resources, judicial resources and the valuable social costs. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Vivian's sharing. These two international conventions are transnational law and a global constitution. I hope the Taiwan government will seriously abide by these two conventions. The Tai Jinmen disciples around the world have tried very hard to express their appeal, hoping to convey their message to Taiwan government to assist in the early resolution of this nearly 25 years old Tai Jinmen injustice case. Now, let's watch the video. We believe that without justice and human rights, there can be no true democracy and no true peace. Now, let's welcome Coco from California. She will talk about how to restore human rights to promote the economic and social progress of people around the world. Let's welcome Coco. Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting me to No Justice, No True Peace in response to the United Nations Day Forum. It is my pleasure to be here to commemorate United Nations Day 
Also, with Tai Chi Man case, I would like to illustrate persecution under the name of prosecution and human rights violation under the name of taxation. Finally, I would like to call upon Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen to return the justice to Tai Chi Man, return its properties, and end its unjust tax case. My name is Coco. I'm a software engineer in California. I'm also a mom of two school-aged children. You can imagine that my busy schedule leaves me nearly no time to read news or pay attention to the outside world. Well, I used to. In 2018, I had an opportunity to follow Dr. Hong to volunteer for World Leader Summit of Love and Peace held at a United Nations headquarters in New York. This event opened my heart and expanded my worldview. Dr. Hong taught me that no one's fine until everyone's fine. Since then, I'm more compassionate toward human rights and other global issues. United Nations Day is an important day to commemorate. The spirit of United Nations, besides to maintaining international peace, is also to protect fundamental human rights, as well as to promote social progress and better standard of life. Freedom of speech and belief, freedom from fear and want, has been proclaimed as the highest aspiration of mankind and shall be what we all do our best to pursue. Taiwan is known as a beacon democracy. Taiwan also rectified two United Nations human rights instruments, the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights on March 31st, 2009. Despite Taiwan's well-preserved public image, the Tai Chi Man case exposed how the government uses or rather misuses its power to persecute certain minority faith groups with similarly rationalized tools, such as prosecution or tax bills. The Tai Chi Man case is a perfect example of how the apparently democratic government can still violate its people's human rights. The Tai Chi Man case is a case of perse illegal persecution. On December 19th, 1996, Prosecutor Ho Kuan Ren led hundreds of armed policemen and investigators to raid and search Tai Chi Man's academies and disposed residencies, all of which was done without a search warrant. The other techniques, tactics utilized to violate human rights, including making a disciple disappear for a week without notifying her family and employer, threatening many other disciples, secretive and intimidating interrogation without notifying the lawyer, accusing Dr. Hong of raising goblins, fabricating the tax evasion, and organizing fake victims, interrogating Dr. Hong for merely a total of 29 minutes over the course of 117 day pre-trial detention, mobilizing the media to announce the accusation of fraud even before the interrogation was finished. Besides the illegal prosecution and fabricate, criminal case. Issue and justify tax bill is not a device that the government can use to suppress a faith group. In 2007, Dr. Hong and his co-defendant were acquitted from all criminal charges. The court explicitly stated that they were not guilty of tax evasion. Dr. Hong and his co-defendant who were detained were granted national compensation for wrongful detention. None of this can compensate for the loss of time, reputation, and negative impact to the job and family. Little do they know another journey of fighting for human rights just began. In December 1997, the National Taxation Bureau issued tax bills to Dr. Hong and his wife, imposing taxes, fines, and penalties based solely on Prosecutor Ho Kuan Ren's indictment without waiting for a final court decision and without conducting its own audit. Since then, Tai Chi Man has repeatedly gone to administrative court to appeal and has won 18 times. Yet each time Tai Chi Man won, the National Taxation Bureau issued a new tax bill. In 1999 and 2000, Finance Minister Yan Ching Zhang and Deputy Finance Minister Wang Deshan and Wang Yongzhou publicly announced that Tai Chi Man case will be resolved after the criminal case is resolved. But it didn't happen. Why? The head of county tax office, Chen Kefa said, the court's decision doesn't count. Little United Nations Day is an important day to commemorate. The Taiwan government also made a big leap on democracy by adopting the international 
covenant on civil and political rights and the international covenant on economic, social, and cultural rights. If the present time one would take one step further, asking the administration to implement these two international covenants, we address the Tai Chi Man case, return Tai Chi Man's properties, stop prosecuting Tai Chi Man and innocent people, stop human rights and abuses through unjust taxation, then Taiwan can become a true democratic country. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Coco. Next, let's listen to a song, Human Rights for Global Citizens, to conclude today's program. And again, thank you for watching today. Let's continue to fight for justice and fight for human rights. Thank you.